Good morning. This is Mike Houston with your Wednesday morning weather hazard briefing for southeast Idaho. Looking at the key points through the forecast period, we do expect to see a few weak disturbances cycle through the region this week, and that will produce some isolated or scattered thunderstorm activity, primarily across our mountainous areas. Otherwise, uh, we should see mostly dry and warmer conditions. Looking at satellite imagery this morning, we see, do see some cloud cover here across Montana and Wyoming, but uh, southeast Idaho is largely dry. Looking at our weather risk outlook matrix of doom, uh, I have little to no impacts here for the next five days. We do expect to see a slight chance to chance of showers and thunderstorms across select areas of southeast Idaho through the period, however. We'll take a look at, closer look at that in uh, some of our charts here, in particular looking at the storm track this morning. Uh, we do have a low pressure trough that extends from western Canada uh, down into the Pacific. In that trough we have several embedded disturbance, disturbances. One uh, is lifting up out of northern California. We'll traverse southeast Idaho late this afternoon and evening and we have a second that's migrating east through western Canada today. That'll have impacts in uh, different regions of our forecast area today. The northernmost storm system will produce uh, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms across uh, the Central Mountains and Lemhi region uh, late this afternoon and tonight. And then the one that was ejecting out of California across southeast Idaho will produce uh, a chance of shower activity, primarily from Burley up through Driggs uh, tonight. Um, and as uh, we get into the uh, later portions of the night, uh, we may actually see some of this activity extend as far south as the Bear Lake region. Uh, but primarily in this uh, southern corridor, we do expect to see uh, some fairly gusty winds. Here I am looking at max wind gusts today uh, out of one of our models. And it is showing that we could see anywhere from 40 to 55 mile an hour wind gusts out of some of these thunderstorms sneaking out into the Snake River Plain and across the southern highlands this afternoon. So something to watch for with these development of these storms. Advancing uh, the storm track now to Thursday, we have that uh, second or third uh, disturbance now working its way into Washington State. That'll uh, work east along the Canadian border overnight and produce some uh, shower activity primarily in the Central Mountains and uh, uh, Northeast Highlands here up near Island Park through the overnight hours. As we work our way out to Friday, we have yet another weak disturbance, almost imperceptible here as we have a ridge beginning to develop across the Great Basin. But that uh, disturbance will be cutting over the top of the ridge and it will produce um, some shower activity primarily in, throughout Montana. But we will see some of that activity here right along the uh, fringes here uh, of the Montana border uh, through the day and night on uh, Friday night into Saturday morning. Taking a look at high temperatures today, uh, we expect to things to warm still a bit more today, generally running up into the uh, mid to upper 70s to lower 80s here in the Snake River Plain in Eastern Magic Valley and upper 60s to upper 70s here in the Central Mountains and Eastern Highlands. Uh, coincident with that, the minimum humidities will begin to dry and fall. Here we are looking at uh, minimum humidities throughout the Snake River Plain, generally in the mid-20s uh, to maybe around 30 in some places. Uh, and if you get up into the Central Mountains, it generally runs uh, in the 30s and uh, similar readings here across the Eastern Highlands. But as we advance into Sunday, we see the temperatures edging up a bit in some areas uh, climbing up uh, into the lower 80s here in the Eastern Magic Valley, but most areas remaining fairly steady. Uh, however, uh, things will be drying out with minimum humidities on Sunday here running generally from 15 to 20 percent throughout the Snake River Plain in Eastern Magic Valley and generally in the mid-20s to lower 30s here in the Central Mountains and Eastern Highlands. Uh, so with the drying, we do expect uh, some increase in uh, fire, fire danger. Here we are going from what was low today, widespread across southeast Idaho, to 
on Sunday, seeing at least some areas of moderate uh, potential in the severe fire danger index here th throughout the Snake River Plain and Eastern Magic Valley. Again, it'll probably take uh, warmer temperatures and uh, some windy conditions to actually get us back into some uh, high severity uh, conditions. Okay, advancing uh, to our summary slide, we expect a few weak disturbances to cycle through the flow uh, and the region this week, producing isolated scattered thunderstorms. Otherwise, we should see mostly dry and warmer conditions through the week. That's all I had for you this morning. If you had any comments or questions, uh, you can reach, us, reach out to us at one of these avenues here listed on the screen. Thank you.